There's a lot of shungite on the market and things that say they're shungite. Now for this FLFE upgrade, you don't need pure shungite. Pure shungite's expensive and it's also hard to work with. It doesn't make good pendants. You can't drill it very easily or shape it. So there's something called level two shungite. It's around 70% shungite and above. So even less pure shungite works, but you have to determine first, is it really shungite? Now, a couple of things will tell you that. One is if you've got shungite like in a bag, it's dirty. You see, see the carbon in there? Shungite will shed carbon. So that's one clue that it's shungite. Other things may not do that. So the second way to tell that shungite is real is whether it's conductive or not. So shungite is mostly carbon. So it conducts electricity like a wire does. So you can use a voltmeter and you can test the resistance that way if you're electrically uh, proficient, or you can grab a flashlight. And you wanna find a flashlight that has uh, its switch at the back end away from the light. And you're gonna unscrew the top of the flashlight or the back of the flashlight. And you're gonna see uh, the casing and the battery. And so you're gonna take this shungite and you're gonna to try to bridge between the battery and the casing. And when you do, electricity runs through the shungite, turns the flashlight on. So that's a low tech way to tell if you've got real shungite or not. Now, sometimes it takes a little fiddling to get, to get it in there and see the light come on and off. There we go, on and... So that's me bridging that shungite between the battery and the casing. And that will tell you that what you have is conductive and therefore is shungite.